Hello, today I'm here with Mr Greg McMahon, who's a consultant vascular surgeon at Royal Derby Hospital. Morning Greg. Hi James. Today obviously we're going to run through uh, doppling the normal pulses and the location of the pulses as part of the vascular examination and you always start any examination with washing your hands. Firstly, let's take a look at the Doppler box itself. This is the uh, handheld Doppler machine. It consists of a uh, box that creates the ultrasound uh, transmission into a sound that we can hear and then a probe that goes on the artery. Um, there are two ways to turn them on depending on the um, unit you've got. This one has a button on the front that turns it on. Uh, some of them, the on switch is actually part of the volume switch here. So this one's been turned on, now gradually turning up the volume to a, to a level that's going to allow me to hear the signal in the vessel. So it, in the abdominal examination, as in vascular, in the vascular examination, what you're really feeling for is aneurysmal disease. And the first thing to do is to lay a hand on where an abdominal aortic aneurysm would be. Now in Paul, I can feel the aortic pulsation, but it's not aneurysmal. If you felt uh, an aortic pulsation and you thought it was aneurysmal, you then put a hand either side of where you feel that pulsation and what you're really looking for is an expansile pulse. And again, Paul doesn't have that. If you had a patient with an aneurysm, what you'd see is your hands moving apart. Okay, and then if we move on to the femoral artery, obviously here for this video we've maintained our volunteers' dignity. Femoral artery is found at the uh, mid inguinal point, so the point between the anterior superior lax spine and the uh, pubic tubercle. And should be the femoral artery. And there it is. Okay, and would you expect to be able to palpate the femoral artery in most patients? Yeah, um, it's usually very superficial. It comes out of the pelvis and into the groin superficially. Um, so if you can't feel a femoral arterial pulse, it is suggestive of either proximal disease or disease in the vessel itself. Okay, and then if we move on to the popliteal artery, and this is a bit more of a tricky artery to find sometimes. Yeah, the popliteal artery it lies very deep in the popliteal fossa, and it, it, it is a pulse that's not always very easy to feel. In fact, we have a sort of anecdotal um, saying that if you can feel the popliteal pulse very easily, then you have to consider whether or not that artery is actually aneurysmal. That's how difficult it is to feel routinely. I'm going to take the weight of your leg, so just let your, your leg relax. Okay. And what I'm doing is pushing down with my palms on the tibia, and then just gently rolling my fingers from side to side until I can feel the popliteal pulse. And do the same on the other side. I'm just having a look at your hand position. You're trying to maximise your opportunity of feeling a pulse if there is one there, and so I tend to clasp the um, the lower leg in both palms and, and push the tibia down with my um, thinner eminences, and then roll my fingers from side to side to try and pick up a pulsation if there is one there. And now we'll move on to the the foot pulses. Uh, so dorsalis pedis first of all. So the dorsalis pedis is usually found just lateral to the extensor hallucis longus tendon. And there it is, filling with three fingers to maximise my chance of palpating the artery. And once you've found the pulse, you can then use the Doppler probe to intimate the pulse. Okay, and I noticed there when you're um, Doppling the pulse, you've got your little finger um, just adding some stability to the Doppler probe. Yeah, so if you see, I hold the probe like I'd hold a pencil, um, and, and then that gives me the sort of fine adjustability to, to move the probe over the surface of the skin and the, and the little finger just allows me to stabilise it. Okay, and if we just look from a different angle. Okay, then the other commonly um, top of the pulse in the foot is the posterior tibial. So medial malleolus, palpable here, 
edge of medium mount loadless just here, usually about a centimetre behind that. And then just again gradually bringing my fingers up to the bone and I can feel the pulse there. So let's have a listen to the uh, posterior tibial pulse on the left leg. Put some of the gel where I think the artery should be. Can't hear anything where I've put the probe, so then I'm just going to gradually move the probe more medially, and then I'll pick up the signal. If I carry on moving it medially, I'll eventually lose the signal again. So it's a case of moving back and forth along the line that I'm expecting to find the vessel. Okay, thanks very much. So we've run through the, uh, where all the major pulsations are located and uh, briefly how to use the Doppler. Thank you very much, Greg. Yep, thank you, James. Thank you for listening to another podcast brought to you by School of Surgery. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook at School of Surgery, on iTunes, on Podomatic at schoolofsurgery.podomatic.com, and finally, by searching School of Surgery on YouTube. Thank you very much, and see you next time.